So chicory is a crop which has big roots. It's a crop that is cultivated for the production of inulin. Farmers grow this crop in the field because from the roots, food fibers are extracted. The roots eventually end up here. Inulin is a dietary fiber with health promoting properties that is used in many products. It's used as a fat replacer or as a low calorie sweetener and to improve your gut health. Because of that reason, they are incorporated in products like yogurts and bars. The roots of chicory also store other products, um, the so-called uh, terpenes. Many of the terpenes found in nature have medicinal properties. This is the synthesis factory where we produce inulin for chicory roots. In the Chic project we aim to develop sets of new chicory varieties. By making small adaptations in the genome of chicory, we breed new varieties that make all kinds of different health products. Work Package 1 is a technology work package. It is devoted to developing four different new plant breeding techniques and their implementation in chicory. These four techniques are all based on genome editing using CRISPR-Cas9 and they differ only in the manner in which the genome editing molecules are delivered to the chicory cells. The genetic outcome of all four techniques is identical and will therefore lead to the same end result an improved chicory variety. In Work Package 2 we are using new plant breeding techniques in order to improve the yield and the health beneficial properties of inulin. Work Package 3 deals with the milky secretion that is produced in chicory plants, particularly in the roots. In Work Package 4 we assess the safety and technical impacts of the four conceptual different new plant breeding techniques in chicory. Furthermore, we also focus on regulations and legislations of new plant breeding techniques on a worldwide scale by assessing and collecting legislations and regulatory suggestions how to regulate products of new plant breeding techniques. In Work Package 5, we assess socio-economic and environmental impacts of the new chicory varieties and the resulting products. We focus on the whole value chain and systematically assess different types of impacts in respect to the economy, GDP, production volume, growth, competitiveness and employment are relevant indicators. Regarding the environment, we analyze greenhouse gas emissions, primary energy demand, water consumption and land use. Our work package aims at engaging a broad range of stakeholders, including chicory farmers, inulin producers, food producers, retailers, regulators, as well as environmental and consumer organizations. World Package 7 is focused on the communication and dissemination of the CHIC project. Communication means any activity aimed at defining the messages, the audience and the means to use in order to have the maximum possible impact for the project. Dissemination consists of sharing research results with potential users in order to contribute to the advancement of science. To maximize the impact and success of the project, it is necessary that both communication and dissemination are fully aligned. This implies good mechanisms for identifying results, adequate management and protection of the IP, defining communication strategies for each result, and once it has been communicated, there is a need a need to measure the impact in order to have a continuous improvement. I'm leading the work package 8 where we are gathering uh, the information coming from the other work packages and, and making an exploitation strategy for both high quality dietary fiber and for bioactive terpenes. We are measuring the polymerization degree of inulin and we are also subjecting that inulin to models which mimic the human gut. We can process it here and then we can calculate the Benefits. A challenge for our work is that the legislation for genome-edited plants might change in the near future. So, we have to deal with two possible futures. And we found a creative solution to cope with this challenge.